All right, so what I have here is my food processor. And I know that um, to me, this is really important. It's kind of like having an oven in your kitchen or a stove in your kitchen. If you are going to change your diet and eat really healthy, then it's kind of about, well, you need certain ingredients, you need certain utensils and you need certain equipment, right? And a food processor is definitely one of them. Why? Because if you want to get rid of, let's say if you're somebody who's thinking about getting rid of um, or decreasing your meat <clears throat> and the heavier stuff. So that is, you know, you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be hungry because I need something heavier. Well, that's one thing that these seed pâtés are great. Now they're raw food recipes, so they don't cook anything. We soak the nuts and seeds and when you soak them, they release the enzyme inhibitors. And what that does is then it makes the nutrients in the nuts and seeds more bioavailable to your body. You're able to absorb them better and digest them better. Uh, so I've soaked my sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds for about two hours. Now you can go a bit longer than that, but that's how long I did. And then um, usually what I like to do, see they're pretty wet, is have them like drain them in a strainer, put them in the fridge, in the strainer in a bowl like this and let them kind of air dry a little bit overnight because they're pretty they're pretty soaking wet. So what I actually did today was I put some, put them on a little bit of paper towel to dry them out. So I'm gonna put my nuts and seeds, my seeds, nuts and seeds. I have pumpkin seeds, a half a cup, and a half a cup of sunflower seeds. Now pumpkin seeds, people don't realize how extremely healthy pumpkin seeds are for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're high in magnesium and high in zinc. Now those two things alone are great. Sunflower seeds are high in selenium and also in magnesium and proteins. I mean, pumpkin seeds actually have quite a lot of protein. You'll see in some vegan proteins that they use pumpkin seeds for that. Um, and omega-3s, of course, they have omega-3s. They also are both high in fiber, right? And I'm just looking at some of the other things. Sunflower seeds are high in vitamin E. So they're a really good source of vitamin E uh, and vitamin B1, B3, and B6 as well as selenium, I think I might have said that. Um, of course, they both have fiber and they're both anti-inflammatory. Uh, so nuts and seeds are really good to add. Now, of course, in not huge amounts, right? Because they're, um, they have calorie dense. Now with this, what I'm gonna add is I've already chopped up some veggies. And what I've added is half a cup of celery, half a cup of carrots chopped up, bell pepper, I had some in my fridge, so I had a half a cup of that, and then about a quarter cup of parsley and then two green onions and some garlic. And that's what I have in here. And so I'm gonna just add it right to this. So I'm gonna blend it all together. Okay, so now I've blended this a little bit, broken down a bit. Now I'm gonna add my flavors. So I'm adding a bit of um, Italian seasoning, about a half a table, half a teaspoon, sorry. Have it to maybe just a tiny bit more. And I'm gonna add salt and pepper. Now, I don't really measure my salt and pepper because I just kinda of know how much. You gotta go by taste. Always start with a little bit and then you can add more, right? Don't go crazy at first. Now, if you don't have Italian seasonings, you can add oregano, you can add basil, you can add them all separately, you can add a little bit of thyme, whatever. And then I have um, some squeezed lemon juice. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons because I like a lot of flavor in it. Now I just wanna show you something else I've made that is, this kind of reminds me of, I mean, I'm adding a lot of veggies to this one, but kind of like a tuna. It blends up kind of like a tuna, um, like when you blend tuna and mayonnaise. So what I've made too is a cashew cream right here that tastes, it has a little bit of zing to it. So kind of like a, a Miracle Whip. Reminds me of Miracle Whip, really good. And I'm gonna add, when I go to eat this, I'm gonna add a little bit of that with it and then it's really gonna kind of mimic the texture of tuna salad, it's really good. Okay, so for those watching again, I'll show you what this looks like once it's made and on my lettuce wrap. So I'm just going to blend it up again. Sorry. I'm making quite a big batch. I've just decided that I wanna kind of bring back some of the raw food recipes I used to um, really love and eat. It's just I kind of got out of the habit of making some of these. And this will last in the fridge about five to six days, possibly even seven days. You can use it in a lettuce wrap, you can use it in any other kind of wrap. You can use it as a dip or as a, like in celery sticks or on crackers that you have. And it's filling, and like I said, full of nutrients, especially because you soak the seeds for it.
Okay, I blended it more and I just tasted it. And it's really, really good. Huh. Really good. Just needs a little bit more salt. A little bit more pepper. And another thing I'm going to add to it is nutritional yeast. Because I love nutritional yeast. Now I'm going to add a little bit more lemon juice. So, just a bit. Maybe a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Nutritional yeast. And the kind I like to use is Red Star Nutritional Yeast. Here's my tablespoon. So, we're going with... A tablespoon a tablespoon and a half of nutritional yeast all right then I'm gonna blend it again okay so it takes quite a lot of blending and you just kind of stir it around and then continue to blend until it's the texture that you want right now I'm gonna show you what it looks like but it is a little grainy more grainy um, and if you want it smoother you just continue to blend it until it's as smooth as you want so I have my lettuce piece of lettuce here now you can use a collard wrap and rarely wrap it in. You can use any other kind of wrap that you have at home. Another thing I have at home is my homemade sauerkraut. That's going to be really good on it too. So I will put some of that on later. I'll just show you what this looks like. So that is what it looks like. And then I usually like it's, you can put it in these lettuce. This lettuce. And you just put a bit. Now you can put other veggies on there too. You can put sliced cucumber, sliced bell pepper, anything else. And I'm going to put some of our homemade sprouts that we make. There's the sprouts right there. Really easy to do and really highly nutritious. Sprouts are really definitely some of the healthiest foods. Okay, full of live enzymes. So all of this too is great because it's raw. So that means that your body is whatever's in the nutrients that is in the food is still in the food because when you cook food you just decrease some of the vitamins and minerals here you're eating the live enzymes so it helps your body to digest it better too and you're getting all the nutrients so there we go i have my sprouts and my pate in there and this is really 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 good guys i'm gonna take off the end there <laughs> mm. Mm. it is so good mm. I'm gonna blend it a little more, but it's excellent. Mm. So if you love soup, if you love salads, which I do, this is a perfect thing to have on the side. Even if you have little flax crackers or just a rice cake, a plain rice cake or something, so much flavor in this, so much flavor. Oh, really good. It's great, healthy, nutritious food. Still, it helps to fill you up. It really, really does. So it's fantastic. I hope you try it. Make sure to be part of my community, Women Creating Healthy Lives. If you are not already, and you can find more videos on YouTube at Diana Marchand, and my site, of course, is dianamarchand.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much for watching.